Hey everybody, I've been working on some um, envelopes for my mum and dad for their bowls, uh, lawn bowls, and they have prizes for um, people who, you know, the runners up or the winners or, you know, lucky second, third, etc, etc. So, um, I've been working on those and I have two envelopes to do and I thought I would come on and show you guys um, how I do them. So if you're interested, um, this is how I'm making this lot. Um, each lot I make um, a similar, um, but this time round I thought I'd try and do um, a little something different. So. Um, these aren't recycled envelopes, unfortunately. Um, Mum gave me a pile, I think she gave me 14 of them uh, to make these for her. I have printed out some vintage images. Um, I've just Googled vintage Christmas images and I, you know, like shrunk them to fit on A4 paper, cut them out and I'm using these on the envelopes. Um, I've made these here in Publisher um, with just different fonts. So anyway, let me just get started. So once I've cut them out and rounded the end edges, I just go around a little bit of inking. Let's see if I can move this out a little bit. How's that? That's a little bit better. Okay, so I just ink the edges. of them this is just um, Tim Holtz I think Ranger vintage photo this one here that I'm using just putting it on with my I don't know what you call this blending tool or something or other <clears throat> okay so done the pictures let me just grab a piece of paper here and then I go around the envelope. Um, my sponge is falling apart. I'm getting little bits of sponge falling off it. I think I need a new one. Anyway, so something exciting happened here for like five minutes last night, guys. It rained. Ha! Who would have thought? Um, it didn't rain for long. I'd no sooner walked out from my dungeon and it was raining by the time I went upstairs it had stopped so um, <laughs> yeah. that was that was about how exciting for the night but at least we had some rain you know, if that's what you want to call it so anyway once I've done the edges then I just blend um, just move the stain for the ink in a little bit just to grunge it up a little bit make it look like um, it's come out of the attic or somewhere All right. so that's one envelope done let me do this other one just quickly I should have only left one to do shouldn't I Alrighty hope you guys can see am I too far in again out all right, how about that? So yeah, so I just go around the edge with some, some ink. You can use any color, I suppose. Um, this is just the color I like. And then we go around the edges. I wonder my um, sponges fall apart. Jeez, they get a workout. <laughs> all right so there's those two done now I do recycle some things though you know me I've got to recycle um, so I use for the backs of the runner-ups this is just a um, hungry jacks bag um, and because it's a Christmas theme that they're doing for lawn bowls, I'll just move this out of the road. I thought, what better paper to use than the good old Hungry Jacks bags? Because look, we have red and green, guys. Our Christmas colours. Okay. So, 
and I'm sorry everything's upside down so just um, until I get the webcam fixed this is it all right so if I put I might do that there actually let me grab my glue stick just give this a glue Put that there. Is it stuck yet? It's stuck down. All right. So there's that one, and where's the other one? So I've got two runner-ups to do. So these are the only two I have left. Once I've done these, um, I'll show you the rest of the envelopes that I've done. And I might put that one down here. So normally what I would do is line them all up, you know, along, along here. So I'd have like heaps. <clears throat> and then I'd cut them out. But because I've got two left, um, I'll put one down the bottom and one up the top. So then I get my little, um, I don't know what you call them pinking shears and I kind of just wing it how far along the edge I want this lighting is really bad down here at the moment right so it doesn't matter if it's not perfectly um, straight Cut this down, it's too much paper. I'll just give it a quick snip. Alright, let me get rid of that. Now, now I kind of go in, I don't know what you'd call it, half an inch or a quarter of an inch, three quarters, I don't know. Half a centimetre in, in our language. <laughs> so, half a centimetre um, is normally the border that I put around it all right so there's that one and oh was i off i was off camera that whole time i'm sorry guys like i said it'll be good when i get this webcam fixed because it's literally just above me so i don't have to worry about being out of frame so when hubby gets home he's still away so when he gets home he can have a look at that for me um and um yeah we'll try and get that organized i'm just going to put all this in my um scrap or well, one of my paper scrap boxes it's just an old tea bag box so put that in there now the choice is yours whether to ink um the bags like around the bags or not um, you can you know if you're making it for any particular reason it doesn't really show up that great on this paper because it's fairly dark uh, I suppose using a different like walnut stain or something might work but um, we can pretend it's there it? anyway so that's that there so that's done What did I just do? I think I just smudge that. So right, I'll put a bit on the top, make it look like it was supposed to be there. Alrighty, <clears throat> now for the envelopes. Let's bring one down. So, <clears throat> what I do now is I figure out where I want them. So. I might put the runner up here and one of the pictures, I might use this one here and I try and cover up this postcode bit here. So if I put that right on the edge of that, <coughs> um, normally I would put um, cheesecloth or cambric gauze underneath this and um, layer it 
but this time round I thought I would just use um, a little scrap of fabric up the side now I have like I said I've, I've made other ones so I've got bits of fabric left over so I might um, try and use up bits of scraps that I have here What's that one? Hmm, I don't know guys. Uh, what else have I got in here? <clears throat> now for you, <laughs> for those that are interested, let me just move this out of the road. I know I'm digressing. Um, you know how I, I normally store my stuff in a um, tea bag box? Well, my scrap fabric's kind of multiplied. So it's no longer fits in a tea bag box. <laughs> I now have to put it in a tub. <laughs> so this, um, yes, this is my new scrap fabric box, guys. So I'll dig through here. Yeah, I don't know what happened. It just, it just multiplied. Bread. And now we have little baby scrap fabrics everywhere. <laughs> The more I use, the more they grow, I swear it. Anyway, um, where was I? So I could use that bit, I suppose, or I actually like this. I do like that. Yeah, so I might just use that. All right, so now I know what I'm going to use. Let me move this out of the road. And, oh, see, come here. How's that? There we go. That might be a little bit better. I've just adjusted the camera. Okay, now, stencil. I like to do some stenciling. Um, so I've got this old, I don't even know where I got this from. I think it was from one of the $2 shops. It's just a multiple. It's got six stencils on it. <clears throat> I only ever use one or two of them. Um, so now I've positioned that there. I want some stenciling to stick out the top of it. So if I place that there, move this out of the road. Let me see how much I've got left on my, my sponge. Now I'm not sure if you can see that, guys. Um, yeah. Like I said, this is just um, vintage photo. Let me see, can you see that? Oh, wrong way. So I just kind of work the stencil around my um, image or whatever you want to call it. So we just got a little bit poking out from underneath. Um, just adds a bit of um, variety to the page. I could have gone down a little bit further on that one. I don't remember. Yeah, that's better. So that, and I might use some of this one on the bottom here. So let me. Let me do this one. Yeah, I like to stencil. I like it to um, just adds, I don't know, adds something to your. Page, I think a bit of stenciling All right. yeah I like that okay glue on for this um, purpose I use my fabric glue it dries a lot quicker um, you just put that on there So there's that. So I'm not sure whether you can see. Oh, let me turn it that way so you can have a proper look at it. So there's that. Now for our image, I do pretty much the same. I just um, position it where I want it. So this one I'll be putting some fabric 
down the side so I will um, there we go so if I do that get my stencil So I will do, I'm not sure whether you can see from the glare, let me move that over that way, how's that, is that better? It looks better from my end, so we'll soon find out. Um, just a bit of stenciling there, let me put this back on, let me just see. Okay, next slot. I'd leave my image there, but I don't want to actually. I might just put this here. Oh, sorry. This is the list that Mum wanted done, so if I put that there, if it goes onto that, it doesn't matter. Right. But yeah, I want it to stick out. Okay. Alright, so there's that, and yeah, that's looking nice guys, that's looking really nice. And where's this one, and I'll stick this for underneath here, it's a bit of variety, how's that, oh perfect, yeah I like that. I like that. All right. So let's get her stuck down. Oh, fabric Let me just get this bubble off. I forgot to close it. All right. Come on, come out. Now that I want you to come out, you're not going to come out. Alrighty. Yeah, so it's been four to five weeks since hubby's been away working. A um, little bit too long, I think. <laughs> so starting the, well, not starting, I have been missing him. Um, so hopefully he'll be home soon. It'd be nice to have him home for Christmas. All right. So let me just stick that down. stick this on oh, the glue is oozing look at that oh, might have a fight rip a bit off oh, sorry I'm off camera again guys just um, my own little world. I just thought I'd share with you what I'm doing. Um, so once these are out of the road, I'll be then cleaning off that cupboard that I found on Curbside Cleanup, and I'll be getting that ready to move into um, the dungeon, and it's getting an overhaul. I need a big clean up, guys. Let me just finishing touches there I hold them down oops okay there's another one done so there's that um, last but not least same process I'll do it this side as well because the other two I've done the other side so I'll show you that um, when I'm finished here. Alright, so once again, we just position it around where you want um, your stenciling. Oh, 
Oh, is it steamy today, guys? I tell you. The lack of rain, or the little bit that we've had, it's just like a sauna out there. Oh, boy, it's hot. All right. And yet his hubby down in Victoria, he's around Geelong area working. Um, he's doing the wind farms down there. Um, oh, and he says it's been that cold. So you swear we live on um, different in a different country because here in Queensland we're sweating, and down there he's freezing. I had to send him tracksuit pants the other day because he said he was just too cold. <laughs> so. Um, yeah, he got a care package in the mail. Um, sent him some tracksuit pants and shorts. Um, some snacks for him, you know, little snacks. Um, but yeah. But hopefully he'll be home soon. Um, yeah, five weeks is a long time. I do miss him. He was only supposed to be there for three, three weeks. So three weeks on, one week off. But... Um, it hasn't worked out that way so far. <clears throat> but anyway. Oh boy. Okay. I'm really, really hot here, guys. Like sweating hot. I don't want to put the fan on because um, it makes too much noise and it um, takes away the quality of the sound I've noticed. So I'll quickly get this done and then I can um, put my fan on. I might use this actually, something different. Let me just um, put that there, move that out of the road. Yeah, I like that, a little bit something different. I will put the leaves, I do, I love this stencil, I just love the way these leaves come out. Like I said, I got it from, it was just at $2 shop, one of our, um, I think it was from Tivities. Um, I think that's what it was called where I got this from. It was Tivities. So it's technically a no, like no brand, I suppose. I don't know. Did it just come in a plastic bag, like a plastic packet? There was nothing on it. Um, yeah. Make that go that way. And I think that might do. Yeah, that looks quite nice. Okay. So I'm finished with my ink now. Um, I'll do the same with this. I'll put a bit of fabric down the side. Um, I might use a similar theme. Because I do have... Where did I put that other bit? I've got, um, there it is. This one's got blue down the side. Yeah, I'll do that. Same thing. I think to myself, hmm, I make these. She had has, has had another lady making them. Um, um, they just put like little bits of rhinestones on and um, stickers. Whereas I'm not a sticker kind of person. Um, I kind of do things the hard way, as you can see. <laughs> um, and then I think, oh, they look really, really nice. It's a shame they're just going to get thrown in the bin. Because inside these, I think they put prize money. Like, it might be $20 for a winner for the team that wins. Or if they're single bowlers, like, they get a prize. So they put money in here. Um, so people just rip it open and they probably end up in the bin, but that's okay. It's the fun of doing it. I think some ladies do keep them. Well, it'd be nice to think that they keep them. Um, but if not, it's all good. But I just thought it might give you some ideas of decorating. Um, like if I was to do this for um, somebody else or for me personally, I would use recycled, like, security envelopes and I'd cover up the window and do the same sort of thing and I forgot to rip that off, didn't I? 
Um, so I would use security envelopes, but because it's for lawn bowls, I think mum doesn't want that kind of recycling. <laughs> she, yeah. Um, but anyway, I did suggest it, but the look on her face said it, it was enough. <laughs> it's like, um, no. Um, but anyway. But no, if you just, um, you know, want to decorate, I don't know, envelopes to send as happy mail or um, anything like that. It's just a nice little, you know, you can put a nice little picture with their address or something. Um, well, choice is yours, I guess. But I just thought you might be interested in how I do them. So there we go. That is it. So what I will do is bring this camera down a little bit. And I will show you the ones that I have done. So we should have, and you can go through the list with me. Now we should have four winners, four runners up, a lucky lead, a lucky second, a lucky third, and a lucky skip. So they're the ones that we should have. She wanted two spiders, whatever they are, but she changed her mind. So, um, so here's our four runners up. So they're the ones that I've done previously. So we've got that one. So we've got that one there. We've got that one. So they're our four runners up. And these are the ones we've just done. So if I put that one there, and that one there so when they get them it's on different sides does that make sense so that's the one we've just done together so there's that there's that one that I've done previously now we've just done that one and then we've got that one right. so there's the four runners up then we need four winners and they're here I think they are all right so four winners so these are the four winners that I've done so we've got that one not oh, move that down so there's that two three and four so there's the four winners do you want to go outside Lils hey I think she's come in the dungeon I've got to keep the door shut so the chooks don't get in and she squeezed her way in and now she can't get out our little puppy dog let me go and let her out hey Lils do you want to go outside can't you get back out Yeah, because if I leave the dungeon door open, guys, the chooks come in. And I don't, I don't want the chooks in because they make a mess. Um, all right, so where was I? We have our four winners. Now, I'm not entirely happy with this one. I might um, keep that aside and do something with that very shortly. Um, so we've got that. We've got our lucky skip. So we've got that. It's our lucky skip. Um, our lucky lead, our lucky second, and our lucky first, third even, I'll be quiet. So there we go. So they're the ones that I've done. And I'll just put this up here. Like, like I said, I'm not happy with this one. So I'm just going to um, see what I can do with it. I need something on the bottom here. Um, let me just dig through my box quickly. There was something I spotted in here earlier that I really want to use. Some of this old, old lace. That's what I want to use. This is um, vintage really vintage lace um, yeah 
I just want to cut a little bit off yeah all right I'm just gonna cut a very very thin strip of this oh, I wish I could I still can't find my fabric scissors to this day I'm gonna have to buy myself a new pair I think they've gone walkabout they come with my sewing machine when hubby bought me a brand new sewing machine a couple of years ago they come with that and um, I've lost them down here somewhere I will find them when I clean up no doubt probably hidden in a bag of fabric or something all right so I just want to put a little bit of fabric glue along the bottom it's not coming out very fast which is good all right now let me stick this on just adds a little bit of interest on the bottom there sorry guys I know my hands are in the road all right I'll put that back in there because I'll use that scrap on something all right so we've got that now I might put some I've got little packs of pearls here I might use some of them so all I've got left of these I'm gonna have to um, hunt around and see if I can find them because I use these little pearls a lot on different things and this is all I have left so if I Maybe I need four. Yeah, I need four on there. Okay, let me grab that other one off. I like these ones. They come in different, um, little different sizes. See that? All right. So let me move this. Find my little sticky tool, which I love, by the way, guys. I'll have to put some sticky stuff on it. Let me have a look here. So I grab my little square of sticky. I do have another one of these that I might be um, having another giveaway if somebody wants to, if you want to um, think it's a good idea um, to have another one of these up for a giveaway. Let me know, guys, and I'll do one because um, it's just sitting here. Look, I'll show you. Brand new in its packet. Look. So let me know if you're interested in winning that as a prize. And um, I shall do another giveaway. They're nice and handy. I'm just going to use my little, um, it's a Eileen's Tacky Glue Pen, which I love for these little things here. Oh, it's not dried up. Right. So let me just, it dries clear. three four Let's see if that's um see what we do here All right so there's one two yeah these pens make life so much easier guys I'm, I'm serious <laughs> um so my fingers they have trouble picking up little tiny things these days so um, brilliant it's a brilliant idea all right so there we go that's that so that's what I've done to that I've just added a little bit more um, interest to that so there we go that's it okay all done so now these are done there we go i'll leave that there to dry um so anyway guys thank you for joining me thank you for watching me do um these for my mother um <coughs> i will be back um 
on. I still will do a little bit of crafting as um, I'm cleaning. So I will put up um, another video every now and then um, for you guys. Um, I'll still show you the progress of me cleaning this cupboard out here. Um, which I will start... Oh, I don't know, I'll try and do some next week. Um, but anyway, guys... Um, Thank you to all my new subscribers. Thank you for coming over from Shah's um, channel. I really appreciate it. Or coming from wherever you come from. Um, thank you for subscribing. And thank you to all my old subscribers who, my loyal subbies who stick around and listen to me waffle. Um, anyway, guys, until the, the next video, um, give your loved ones a hug. They're precious. And I will catch you guys later. Anyway, bye for now.